Aloha. I want to do a quick video and just show my um, or share my perspective on the atmosphere of the flat earth community and the information as a whole and how I see this whole like people talk about shills and people talking about this no trees on uh, or no forest on flat earth thing and it's really I don't know it's just a thing but people get into them into their feelings about things and I'm really observing how you can really see how people are uh, you can see their limitations you can see how far they're willing to go and like how far they're not willing to go you can see how people are um, completely closed mind on one perspective and have like ceilings and limitations in reference to uh, themselves and how they think because from my perspective um, there's information that's being shared on every platform that goes far beyond NASA far beyond the politics far beyond the university system into your soul that's like my main focus when I do these videos is because once you anchor into the soul which is what a lot of people are finding, and you can say this when they say, uh, "Oh, well, now that now you can see a creative intelligence involved within the flat Earth and all this other stuff," but people still get to get caught up in in the the politics of it all, which is NASA, and say, "Oh, this is this is what we need to do. We need to focus on NASA, and we need to take down NASA." The same the 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 thing with NASA is the same thing with Black Lives Matters. It's giving the power away to a system and you already know for people who are who are talking a lot about the flat earth stuff you already know that it's going to be revealed and orchestrated in a mainstream kind of fashion the individuals that are within the so-called flat earth community they call themselves top brass uh, but they're not leaders but they call themselves top brass which is fucking ridiculous um, they understand this and they want this to happen they want to be in front of that pack and you know say and, and the defense mechanism for that is well any any media coverage is good media coverage and that shit is just it's ridiculous because you know that when the mainstream gets a hold of this uh, this storyline, they're only going to tell 10% of the storyline at best. It's going to be some, just the way the so-called Flat Earth community has presented itself. It's going to go straight into only the science, so-called scientific versions of like the horizon and the sun and the moon and the distances. It's going to be quantified in order to be locked into another box. And this Flat Earth community is setting up that whole thing and wanting that to happen and wanting to be ahead of that pack and then you got the people who are just talking about oh yeah well I'm going to talk about these shields and all this other stuff and and they themselves not willing to go into a deeper layer of understanding what the flat earth really means cuz when I when I my main thing is that these these individual channels use these images from like the Maya and the Inca and the Navajo cosmology showing uh, these ancient cosmologies showing the um, the storylines of uh, flat earth from back in the day before NASA before the university system and that's it it's just from a, a shallow ass perspective why? Because those individuals are only comfortable with that perspective and don't want to go into the cultural aspects and the actual human connections that were already there. So this is just this whole shill thing and this whole um, new age or uh, basically like a new age flat earth community style ver stop version of uh, truthers and information sharing. It's just another way to keep the keep the the storyline on this shallow version of understanding this information. 
And it's no different than the psychological programming that goes on in the schools, uh, the brainwashing everywhere. It's another version of brainwashing calling itself truth. And an obvious space of that, and I've mentioned this in other videos before, talking about how, uh, how the hell can you use these images and talk about ancient stuff and want to talk about truth and all this, but don't want to do the work to go into understanding the actual humans of this story, the actual, the, it, talking about the science and NASA only and wanting them, NASA, to re reveal information or release information is, is giving your power away. You are starting out with crutches already. You are starting out hopeless and powerless because Whatever it is that they, the so-called they, release is not going to be for the benefit of the masses. It is going to be an extension of the control grid. So if you are still talking about NASA needs to release this and we need to come together and talk about NASA. And then you have the other side talking about, oh, well, the mainstream is going to, they're going to have to reveal that there's millions and millions of people who are already like tagging, looking at the analytics of this and that. Uh, uh, flat earth and eventually some big producer is going to come around and start talking about it. it's just a matter of time if you already know that and you already know that they're full of shit and they're not going to tell the entire story then why the hell are you just waiting to jump on that fucking bandwagon and do the same shit that's been done to lead up to what's happening today so either you are just ignorant or you are part of that system and wanting to extend, extend that system into this new version of what we're calling truth or information or understanding the earth plane and all this other stuff. Either way, you're fucking destructive. So the people who are calling themselves outing the flat earth community and how their shills and all this also need to expand their perspectives and provide some information or perspectives and perspectives that show more of a reason why they're full of shit and also expand your own perspectives to see get ahead of the game get ahead of the curve because this is information you're talking you call yourself truthers and all this other stuff and still limited towards a hopeless and powerless state of being there's no power in asking nasa or even protesting nasa for anything they don't give a fuck about you. They never did. And it has no connections to the roots of the storyline as a whole. It's completely separate. And the people within the flat earth community are, they're already compromised if they're just talking about, yeah, well, I, I, I'm just going to jump on a TV show and then start talking about, you know, flat earth clues and all this other stuff. Knowing that they're just going to science this shit up and then sell it to the population. That's going to be the next step for the control grid. And these individuals in the flat earth community are walking right into it. Right into that program. And you have tens of thousands of individuals who are just going to follow your script right off a fucking cliff. Into another box of control. You didn't in you didn't invent or discover jack shit. The people in the flat earth community who are on YouTube calling themselves top brass didn't discover shit. This shit was already known. It's ancient. There's deeper layers to understand beyond the scientific horizon version and all this other stuff. That is the shallowest layer of understanding this storyline. And that's exactly where the the next step part of the agenda the mainstream agenda wants people to be so you can talk about how, oh you're not shills in there you're not this we're just talking about truth and sharing information you are inherently a shill if you are doing what you are doing and not doing what you are what are, are capable of doing and talking about speaking about going into you are keeping the storyline on a particular on the shallow layers of this ocean of information that is revealed when you start looking into the flat earth and all this other so-called truth or information you are inherently 
full of shit. And you are installing that ignorance into these individuals who are subscribed to you when you don't expand your own artificial ego, you don't expand your own perspectives to go beyond a hopeless and powerless state of being. And if you know that the, you're, you are doing something and could be doing something more and could be speaking of something more, then you are knowingly ignorant and you are knowingly keeping other people ignorant, which is worse than actually not knowing it's ridiculous how could you speak and use the storylines of the ancient indigenous people use their art use their stories use their information use talk about reference all of the ancient peoples all the stories even in and now this no forest on flat earth stuff this is another ancient thing how could you talk about all this stuff and ignore the people how could you ignore the systems that are the the buffer around the system of nasa how could you ignore the systems that are at the foundation the colonial program the indigenous people how could you ignore all this stuff day after day, month after month, and then claim to be a, a truther in all this? That's ignorant. And this goes for the people who are calling themselves like uh, outing the flat earth community and all this other stuff. Outing how? Saying what? Why? Because they're not talking about NASA? That's another control. That's just a deeper control space. It's no different than a controlled opposition. This storyline is not limited to the horizon and the, the science, the distance of the sun and the moon and the sun rays and everything that people constantly making the so-called top brass constantly make videos about. Talk about the people. Speak about the culture. Speak about what has happened as a result of the globe model. How can you constantly only speak about the globe model and NASA and not speak about what has happened as a result? That is also truth. That is also information that would help people understand the flat earth as a whole. That would help people come into understanding what is going on here and what has what has happened and what it will have, will be happening next when this whole mainstream uh, circuit catches it. So you the, the individuals, the so-called top brass, are just talking about, oh well, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna be a part of it. You know, if they start talking about flat Earth, then that's good. That's truth. That's good for the, it, We just need numbers. You are setting people up to walk off a fucking cliff. You focus so much on numbers, so much on on a limited version of truth. It's no different than what NASA did. None at all. It's just another version to keep people stuck. What do you think all this patriarchal programming is? The colonial program is? The psychological manipulation is? The separation from your soul and the creative intelligence is? What do you think all that stuff is? It's a shallow version of your reality. So if you and they created the so-called they, the destructive intelligence, the people who are benefiting from this separation grid, which you are hoping to be a part of, top brass. What do you think all this stuff is and what is going to be when the so-called they do step out into the flat earth information? It's not going to be for the benefit of the people. You already understand that they have no connection, no apathy, no, no empathy, living and existing in apathy, zero compassion for human nature. For nature as a whole. You understand all this so-called 
conspiracy information, this this stuff, but don't really connect it to the to the roots, to the heart of the issue, the actual people, the actual life force energy that is going on and has been going on for so long. This is not a linear truth truth expansion thing. There are very many different aspects to this storyline. And if you're only talking about one linear perspective, then you are part of the problem. If you are keeping, now there's a difference between people who are sharing information who have, who are just sharing information because that's their style. But when you are steering the conversation to constantly say a certain thing, constantly only say a certain thing and constantly not say and address other things then you're you're not involved in any kind of truth or anything that's a limitation it's a setup and the 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 confirmation of that is when the individuals are saying that once the flat earth does catch on in the pop culture cuz that's all this is it's just a it's just a, it's just going to be this pop spirituality this pop like the new age is pop spirituality the flat earth is just going to be pop truth so when you're jumping into that scene you're just trying to be like a a celebrity or something like that it's just going to be this this new version of asshole to tell one version of the story, which is actually what's happening right now. And this so-called top brass is wanting to be a part of that, that shift, wanting to be a part of that storyline that is going to be an extension of the control grid. So much information out there that goes into the actual soul, the actual connections that people have from the birth certificate program to the maritime admiralty system to the prison industrial complex and the military industrial complex to the sexism and racism program that gets triggered the psychological programming all this stuff is very easy to to weave into the conversation and expand the conversation outside of the science and the linear perspectives of the flat earth which is what the university system is going to utilize in order to to co-opt this information and suck people in to a deeper layer of control and these flat earth so-called top brass are just gonna celebrate that they did it we did it yay we did it we were the first ones. We were ahead of the pack. And we said, you know, this is good. And it's all about the numbers. We revealed truth. And things are changing. Good thing NASA is closing down. Because they're so, they, they've done so much harm. $10 billion a year. We did it. Yay. That's what's going on right now. Just that celebration. Celebration of what? Once this shit goes pop and mainstream... You think they're going to say anything for the people who are starving and still getting bombed on the other side of the earth plane? They're going to say a damn thing while you're out here fucking partying and doing all kinds of other garbage. You haven't gone deep enough. You haven't gone deep enough into the roots, into the storyline to understand how deep this story goes. You haven't gone into the creative intelligence. You haven't gone into the destructive intelligence and how it's already ahead of your little game thinking about you talking about truth and all this stuff. They're, this intelligence is, is very aware of the storylines, all the storylines. This ain't got shit to do with boots on the ground when you understand that this is an enslavement at the soul level. And if you are calling yourself some kind of leader or top brass and all this other shit. And you're, and you're saying that this is about truth. But you're only selling the vending machine truth. That's what this is. Vending, mach vending machine truth. Garbage. Garbage. And people are starving. So they'll go to that vending machine and they'll buy that little fucking whatchamacallit bar and they'll eat it up 
and they'll keep buying all those other things in there. Getting fat, getting getting sick, another version of sick off of shallow versions of reality. There's a balance to this experience. To understand the lightness, you have to understand the depths of the darkness. We are being locked down on the genetic space, on our physical body reality, in order to separate us from the soul experience, from the soul connections. This is where our light and dark comes in. This is why our genetics are being played with with the food. Because we have a storyline to walk in and as connected to our family group, our actual body experience. And you also have a soul experience as the individual soul that you are, the representation shot all the way back to the most high and people talk about creator and uh, creator and creative intelligence but don't really want to actually talk about it top brass wake the fuck up how you only talk about some certain little pieces this is a control grid from the roots of your soul it ain't got shit to do when you really boil down to it, it ain't got shit to do with the university system and NASA. They are just the front people. Just like it ain't got the, the whole control gear. It ain't really got nothing to do with the presidents and the politics in the White House. It goes far beyond that. So if you're talking about horizons and curvature and the sun and the moon, the distances and all that stuff and all that, you're basically talking about Bush and Obama. You, you're talking about the White House. You're not going into the depths. And if you're only talking about the politics, then you will fall subject to the puppeteers that are behind pulling them strings behind them. And you're setting people up, calling yourself leaders, calling yourself top brass. You're setting other people up to think that that's what change is all about. And that's what I have a problem with. That's why I'm making this video right now. Stop trying to be fucking popular. Stop trying to create some pop truth. This ain't about pop truth. That's that shallow vending machine reality. Ain't no different than that love and light shit from the artificial new age talking about pop spirituality. Expand the conversation. Drop your artificial ego know that you might lose some fucking subscribers you might lose a part of yourself because you'll understand more of yourself and you'll start to tap in and help other people tap into a deeper layer of understanding a deeper truth some deeper roots so we can understand how far these storylines actually go and get ahead of what this pop mainstream flat earth storyline is getting ready to be sold by the so-called powers that be who are, who are going to attempt to co-opt this storyline get ahead of the game and quit waiting for the story to be played for you understand how deep the story goes so you are not subject to these artificial masters